Bladeless fans or air multiplier fans are awesome if you can afford them. But how do they create airflow without any blades? Well, actually, they do have them. They're just hidden in the base of the fan. These blades pull air from openings in the base and push them through small slits around the ring of the fan to create airflow. But that's not the end of the story. Because the initial stream of air created by these blades are not enough to explain all of the airflow that blow on your face. Three mechanisms are used to multiply the initial airflow. First, when air is pushed through the narrow slits around the ring, surrounding air is pulled along with it. This is called entrainment, and already this multiplies the initial airflow. Next, because the ring is thinner toward the front of the fan, like wings of an airplane, air exiting the slit flows along the curve and not in a straight path. This behavior is called the Kawanda effect, and it causes low pressure in the inner region. And because of this low pressure, air from behind the fan is pulled to the front, generating more airflow. Finally, the jet of air exiting the ring further entrains air from the outer regions, again adding to the airflow. As a result of these mechanisms combined, initial airflow is multiplied approximately 15 times, keeping your hot face cool all throughout the summer. And that's how bladeless fans multiply airflow. Stick signs. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more stick science.